Hey guys, another video, uh, part two of the tips and tricks that I'm doing for you guys, series or collection, whatever you want to call it. So I'm back at settings in the top up there and I'm pressing X. I am going down to um, save data and game slash app settings. And there is a option here called spoiler warnings. So how this works is it warns you about spoiler games. Uh, sorry, I want you about game spoilers. So uh, if someone posts a video into a chat, for example, and it has a spoiler on a particular game, it actually comes up on the screen. I don't have a, a, an example for you, but it does come up on the screen saying spoiler. Uh, so it says displays a spoiler label or hide context that contains potential spoilers. This only applies to PlayStation 5 games. So it's important to know that it's currently on by default. And then you have um, only spoilers identified by game developers. One about content that's marked as spoiler by game developers is ticked. Everything you haven't seen, one about content that contains potential spoilers, warnings are based on your progress in the game. So if you're playing a game at a certain level and someone posts a video, etc., or it comes up on a card, I presume, it'll block that or tell you it's a spoiler and you can proceed if you want to. So if you want a spoiler, then you can switch this off. If you don't want spoilers, you can switch this on or it should be on by default. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.